I'm currently at 27 out of 36 weapons towards Priceless. So to narrow that gap down today, we'll be getting our pistols forged. And because there's just one day left in this boys event, I'll be doing it in the souped up mode. But I'm not going to lie to you guys, just like our last multiplayer video, I'm probably going to be doing a Gamer Guide to Sports Talk segment throughout the entire video because the Lions just won another playoff game. Throughout my entire life, I have never seen my football team win a playoff game ever. And now within the last week, we've won two. And now we're in the NFC Championship game. And for those of you that don't know, that is the last game prior to the Super Bowl. So if the Lions win this game, they are going to the Super Bowl for the first time ever. But it's not like the Lions have like never won a championship before. Uh, actually, they have back in uh, 1957 before it was even called the Super Bowl. But uh, funnily enough, we're playing the 49ers next week in the NFC Championship game. And the last time we went to the NFL Championship, we played the 49ers and beat them to get there. So maybe it's destiny but in all seriousness the 49ers are like a really really good team they were the number one seed in our conference they're one of the best teams in football obviously i think like all the teams left are some of the best it's there's only four teams left total in the entire league and the lions are one of them which is fucking crazy but the 49ers are definitely going to be a challenge for us because our, our defense isn't like the craziest I, I i talked about this a bit uh last time but our, our defense out of like the top or the, the last four teams remaining is, is the worst out of all of them. I think like the Ravens have like the number one defense and then it might be the the Niners or the Chiefs that have the, the two and three like ranked out of all the teams. And then we have like the 25th ranked defense out of 32 possible teams. But the thing about our defense, like, like I said, I, I said this last time where uh, we'll, we'll give up a lot of yards, like the, the receiving game, like any receiver is gonna go off on us, basically. We're gonna just let people walk down the field for the most part, but somehow, some way, despite all that, we've been winning games, winning big games too. And it's not like the Lions are gonna show up and like blow anybody out. Like we're not winning by like multiple scores, maybe like 10 points versus like anybody i think the only team that we've we've beaten by more than like a score or two was like the panthers like when we when we blew them out we played the buccaneers earlier this season in the regular season and we beat them by like maybe i think it was like 14. but what i'm trying to say is the lions play nothing but close games and somehow they they've been able to squeeze out victories where it feels like we shouldn't or it feels like it's not possible oh and there's forged on our course oh but we're going in So let's go ahead and switch for our next weapon. Dude, I'm still going. Why has nobody killed me yet? Okay, there we go. This always happens. Whenever I get a weapon done, it seems like I, I all of a sudden everything clicks. And then I finally start popping off. Not when I need the camos, not when I need the kills. But when I don't is when I actually start getting stuff done. But honestly, it still hasn't even like fully set in that the Lions are still playing football like this late in the year. Like I'm... I'm Turning 25 years old tomorrow or the, the day this is being uploaded. And the Lions have never in my life played a football game past my birthday. Most of the time we're done by like the first week of January. Like season's ending like first week, maybe second week of January. And then the, if the Lions are in the playoffs, it's like one and done. Like I, I still can't process all this of like we actually have a legitimate shot to go and win it all. Like I'm not, I'm not looking past the 49ers or anything like they are obviously a very very good team but it's just the prospect of actually seeing my team have a chance to go to the super bowl is just fucking like mind melting what do we still have left to do for this event i need to win one more game i need to get some melee kills and tax dance kills we'll, we'll do those once i'm done with our pistols now there's not many things bad with the lion still playing right now but the the thing that kind of sucks the most is that we're not going to be playing our game at home our last two playoff games have been at home the first two playoff games that we've hosted at ford field like ever but when we play the 49ers since they're seated higher than us we have to go all the way to santa clara to play them but last week the 49ers played a close game against the packers which is a d division rival of ours and the 49ers have been like very very good this whole season i think like the, the probably the worst game they played was against the the ravens which is a team that also beat the fuck out of the lions actually i think that the niners might have had a little bit of a, a losing stretch a little for like a, a second during the season but they they really turned it around 
and they've been playing really good. Unless I'm thinking of another team, but my, my point is, is that the 49ers look beatable. I feel like a lot of people are rooting for the Lions, which is nice. Like the, the Lions have never really fucking won anything, like I've said before, but it seems like a lot of people want the Lions to win. But I feel like a lot of people don't think they can win it because the 49ers probably have like one of the best offenses, if not the best offense, like remaining. Like they just have so many weapons. They're so dynamic and their their defense is really, really good, too. And like one of the, the best parts about the, this Lions team is their offense. And if the defense can shut them down and the, the 49ers offense can keep like putting up points, they can really just shut us out. But with them playing like a really close game against the, the Packers, like it, it gives me hope. And I know like the last time we played the Packers, it was like on Thanksgiving and they beat us. And I see a lot of people saying like they, they stomped us and I don't think they, they really stomped us. We, we only lost by like seven points, like a touchdown, like nothing, nothing insane. And we made so many mistakes that game and still were within reach of, of winning it. And arguably Green Bay's defense might be worse than the Lions. Like they, they've been like clamoring for them to fire their defense coordinator all year like he's called a few good games here and there but for the most part every packers fan that i've seen talk about it specifically tom grassi says that they want joe barry their defensive coordinator gone it's a shame that he's a fellow joe but what i will say is that i think the packers probably have a better secondary than the lions like their their pass coverage probably is going to be a bit better because we're really lacking in the corner position where the Packers got a few good ones. So maybe that'll that'll make a huge difference in our our matchup here with the Niners. But I feel like the the Lions are going to be like way too fired up to let anything too crazy happen. And I mean I, at least I hope so. And I think that's our final win we need for the event. But it's just been so much fun watching this team this whole year. It it's definitely like the best Lions team I've ever seen in my life. I mean, there's no question about it, but I really hope like the the success here doesn't get people complacent because we've seen like teams turn it around and have like crazy seasons like the Bengals a few years ago when they got to the Super Bowl with like Joe Burrow. And like when you go to a Super Bowl and you like lose it, everyone's like, oh, they'll, they'll be back next year or like, you know, they, they're still a young team. They can make this work. The, the, they'll have another chance at it. I feel like it's so so hard to win a super bowl it's just hard in general to win a, a a game in the national football league and we got something special like what the lions have going right now you have to just like capitalize on it you have to capture it like I i'm not gonna be like oh this the fucking the lions suck if we go out and like lose uh this week i'm not gonna like give up on them because we didn't go in you know completely blow out the 49ers and then go and blow out whoever's makes it out of the afc into the super bowl like it'll still be a very successful season and we've we've done way more than i thought we could but the, the bar is raised and we're just so close i i, I just want to see my team win a super bowl once in my life and this actually could be the time assuming we can get done what we got to get done this week but while we're making assumptions and you know let's just live in the, the reality where the lines win this week and they beat the 49ers and they actually go to the super bowl we have to either play the kansas city chiefs which is a team that we played week one in the very first game of the season so that would be a kind of a cool storyline it'd be lions versus chiefs in the very first game of the season and the very last game of the season and now the chiefs are fully healthy and they're finally got their stuff together and the lions are almost fully healthy we got a few injuries oh and there's forged but like we're, we're basically at like a hundred percent like we got we got all the guys just about everyone is is ready to go because a lot of people were calling our win over the chiefs earlier in the season like saying like there there's an asterisk to it because travis kelsey didn't play and chris jones was also didn't play and those guys are are huge like difference makers so there's, there's definitely like, yeah, I, I see where they're coming from, but a, a win's a win. I ain't throwing no asterisks on nothing. But then if the Ravens make it to the Super Bowl and the Lions also make it to the Super Bowl, the Ravens beat the ever living shit out of us. That was the worst game this season, probably for us. Not even probably, it definitely was. And the Ravens have done that to a lot of teams in the NFC. Like they've done it to the Lions. They've done it to the 49ers. Like it seems like any team they play in the NFC, they are just gonna destroy. And the Ravens have been crazy good their defense is insane their offense is insane they're the scariest team left but i feel like or at least i i hope that we'd probably game plan a little bit differently around lamar jackson lamar jackson also love him one of the most electric players to watch 
one of the most fun players to to see play football today and honestly if it's not the lions like if we're we're out of it i'd love to see lamar win a super bowl because everybody's just calling him like the narrative around him has always been like oh he's a he's just a running back or you should switch positions like that's what people were saying while he was coming into the league and they're still calling him a running back now saying like oh he can't throw the ball down the field like all he can do is run like it feels like he gets no respect despite being like an mvp and probably gonna earn another mvp this season like dude's just nice i don't even know what i'm talking about anymore but uh if if i were to rank like all the teams left on who i'd want to win a super bowl obviously lions number one number two uh would be the ravens 349ers and then last would be the the chiefs y'all won one last year let somebody else get one all i got left to say is that i'm i'm really happy with where this team is this year and i'm very proud of what we've done but why not us huh let's let's go win it all but outside of sports ball uh pal world came out which is like the the pokemon uh clone i guess you could say and some of you may know i'm a, I'm a pretty big pokemon fan like you can probably see some of the, the pokemon stuff behind me on my uh display i've played like pokemon my entire life it's like probably my favorite gaming franchise of all time uh despite them uh putting out absolute shitters of games sometimes i'll still eat them up i, f I fucking love pokemon but pal world is just crazy like everybody like you see every youtube video title uh, of pal world like pokemon with guns and it sounds like a crazy concept, but it, I, I've been watching a bit of it. Like, I didn't think I was going to play it, but I've been watching like videos of it and streams and saw that it was free on Game Pass. So I picked it up. I still haven't played it yet, but I got it downloaded. The game has actually like blown up. Like earlier last year, like during MW2, everybody was talking about how like X Defiant is going to be the COD killer. And I don't think there's really any game out there that can be like the actual cod killer or like in this case pokemon killer but this has probably like the closest chance out of like any game out there to actually make a change in it's like rival franchise because with like the the wild success pal world's having i feel like game freak and nintendo have to see this and be like okay maybe you maybe we should make changes but i mean we're, we are talking about nintendo here who's got like fucking archaic online services and is like the company most immune to change and refuses to change they're always doing shit their way but i'm pretty sure pal world broke like the the record for most concurrent players on steam it had like 1.2 million players playing at the same time which is absolutely insane no game on steam has ever had that much like not counter-strike not like dota nothing probably like better longevity for other games like definitely pal world's only been out for a week and you know maybe this will be like a fad and blow over but from everything i've seen the game looks like it's a fucking blast to play and they really they really got something with it what i will say about pal world though there has been like a lot of their like pals or whatever you want to call it their version of pokemon that have looked so close to a lot of other pokemon and then like the whole catching mechanic and everything it's like it's obviously supposed to be like a pokemon type game or very 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 close to it and a lot of people are, are saying like oh nintendo's gonna take this down and honestly i feel like if nintendo could they would have done it by now so i don't know how they're getting around this how they're getting away with this but they are and it's honestly sick because I, I, one thing that I think gaming really needs is a lot of more competition. Like, it seems like there's certain genres of games that just completely take over the market, and then there's no competition, and then those games just fucking suck. Like, look at Madden. Madden has, like, owned, or, like, EA has owned the, the license to make NFL games for the longest time. To use, like, the players, like, likeness and actually have like a football simulation game and that game is dog shit like it's always so full of bugs it's like there's only like it, it don't play like football there's just like cheese plays that you can run every team plays the same and then there's always like bullshit that happens and the only thing they focus on is like the ultimate team where all you gotta do is buy packs to get players and build up your team and they completely leave like every other mode behind and it's just like copy and paste go to the next year which, you know, sounds rich coming from somebody that plays Call of Duty all the time. But at least Call of Duty changes it up a bit, you know? But it's also the same thing with COD. COD, like, is the only arcade FPS shooter out there. And like we saw with MW2 and like what Infinity Ward wants to do is the exact opposite of what players want to play. 
And Sledgehammer's tried to remedy that a bit with this game and making a lot of changes that people wanted, trying to cater more towards the, the hardcore player base and putting in things that people want to see. But it doesn't mean that we're not going to get another game in like the next few years that is going to be terrible again and just like spit out bullshit that just seems like they're completely like tone deaf to what the audience of the game actually wants. And then it's like the same thing with Pokemon. It's like the, the highest selling franchise of all time. Like no intellectual pro property has made more money or grossed more money than Pokemon. Not Star Wars, not literally nothing. And yet they, they're putting out games where the graphics look like they could be on a fucking PS2. And they run like shit. And a lot of it just seems pretty rushed. Like I, I still like play it and I enjoy it. But you know Pokemon can make a much better game. Yeah, they, they just throw out a, a game every year on like probably the worst running console of all time. And it still like breaks records in sales. I just think competition is good for everybody. It forces like innovation in whatever market you're in and it keeps things fresh. Like just imagine if there was only one fast food chain out there, like if it was only McDonald's. And yeah, I mean, fast food already right now, like has gone down a lot. I, I can I can get into that a different day. I, I will rant about that for hours. But like if there was no, I don't know, Wendy's, Burger King, Taco Bell, they could just do whatever the hell they wanted, not change anything, and it would be the only option. And that's kind of what we have in games. We have just like genre monopolies and it sucks. And I had to switch out of the boys mode because I was not getting very many one shot, one kills. And they just are feeding them to me right now. And I somehow fumbled them. So I'm uh, trying to knock these out in hardcore because I'm going to need to get long shots for Renetti too. And I forgot to mention this, but but rank play is out now. And uh, I've played a little bit of it. I have like five wins right now. Uh, I haven't gone too crazy on it. And I was planning on playing it for today's video, but I had too much line stuff to talk about. And I felt like I wouldn't be able to focus on the game while trying to get all my thoughts across. Uh, about the the football miracles I've been seeing recently, but I'll get to ranked. I'll, I'll probably make some videos on it. We'll get some games in, but uh, I'm already ass as it is. So going against people actually sweating has not gone well for me. Case in point right here, 13 and 36. Oh, there we go. One more gun. Just need to get a few long shots. There we go. Finally done with all the pistols. Now we just got to knock out all these tax stance kills with the KVD real quick. So I'm definitely not going to be able to do it in core. Oh, there we go. Now we can actually do the fun stuff. We just need melee kills with the black light perk. Oh, this is going to be fun. We're all temp V'd out. We're running like Tyreek Hill. Now all I need to do is find somebody to stab. There we go. Let's keep it going. Oof. Let's get this all done in one life. Ooh, still alive. Still kicking it. Only a few more. Uh, come here. Stop running. Ooh, that's gotta be it right there. That's a merciless. Oh wait, do I need 25? I think I'm only at like 15 now then. All right, I got one more thing to randomly blab about before uh, this video is over. I desperately need a haircut. My hair is so long. I don't think I've gotten a cut since the game has come out. If you guys were around back in like the, the beginning of the Cold War days, around when uh, I was grinding dark matter still, my hair was long as shit. I, I basically had like a, a full on mullet. And I was debating whether or not I should just grow my hair back out, but I'm already getting annoyed with it because, you know, when I go outside the rare occasion, any slight gust of wind, my hair is blowing into my eyes and it's annoying as shit. Oh, we're all done with the boys event. Let's go. But I just want to say I'm not going to get a low tapered fade. I'm not ninja. But I'll play this game out until I die. The second I die, I'm leaving. And I'm dead. I'm out. And it's not like you haven't seen this before, but just in case you're curious, this is what some of the pistols look like with Forge done. And this is our core 45. And this is our tier. That's another class done. I think we're at like, what, 31 out of 36 now? So we're basically just like edging, getting to priceless and edging, getting to interstellar. Definitely taking our time with it. And this is what the boys camo looks like. It's nothing crazy, but it's a nice little like almost solid white color camo with just uh, the Homelander crossed out on it. Not the best event camo out there, but it ain't bad. It's pretty cool. And actually they put the, the little V on here for Vought. 
That's kind of sick. But I think I've unlocked enough camos and done enough yapping for today. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support. Go Lions, and I will see you in the next one. Later.